Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 8th of November 2011, approximately 08 Zulu for everybody worldwide watching this video update today on Tropical Depression 24W out here, located just west of Hanine, drifting off towards the north. It's actually this little spin right in here. That is the Tropical Depression here today. A lot of convection off towards the eastern periphery of it right now as well. That's really just a lot of moisture being fed into the positive vorticity associated with this region right now. And also due to the fact that this is experiencing a high amount of vertical wind shear coming in from the north. But let's zoom in a little closer on this system and talk about where it's headed and how the effects of it on specifically southeastern China and Hong Kong and also eastern portions of Vietnam as shown on this water vapor imagery. And if first we can see the center of circulation with the system in the Gulf of Tonkin right now just east of Hue, Vietnam. Actually the center is being now being shown at 1004 HPA. So not a very deep system. And also winds are about 30 gussing up the 40 knots at the center of the circulation. We'll actually look at some of the observations out across the region here in just a second. But first, I do want to note is that a lot of the convection, as already noted, is off here towards the northeast. And that's going to bring some heavy rain showers out across Hong Kong and actually some pretty gusty winds being reported out of there right now as well. So don't be surprised if you do see winds actually gust specifically above the max sustained winds of the center of circulation out here in the Gulf of Tonkin in Hong Kong, specifically in the downtown area, where you also could see some funneling effects through some of those. Uh, higher buildings in there but also do want to show you this YR and water vapor differential and this is actually a very good tool to show these higher cloud tops right in here it kind of looks like radar imagery but it's not please don't get those too confused but also this does demonstrate the fact that there is a lot of moisture being pulled in out of here out of the Gulf of Thailand where sea surface temperatures are much warmer down here wrapping around and heading up here towards this tropical depression and also that's one of the reasons why we do see all these higher cloud tops out here just south of Hong Kong indicated here in the shades of yellows and reds that's where you're going to be seeing those higher thunderstorm activity and the heavier amounts of precipitation where after checking the WMO some of the islands up here have seen upwards of 300 millimeters of rainfall in the past 24 hours actually just south here of Hong Kong is where those islands are located down in here and those are the uh, Paracel Islands and that is one of those rain regions that you could see some heavier precipitation as this moves on shore but this is looking at some of the wind observations around the region just noting up here across Hong Kong seeing winds upwards of 19 knots and out here towards the Luzon Strait see this little gusting right in here well that's gradient induced due to that extension of this low pressure interacting with the high off here towards the north also combined with some funneling effects there in the Luzon Strait pushing that wind upwards of 35 knots there so do want to mention even though you are away from the center of circulation with this tropical depression you still possibly could see some of those higher gusted winds as already noted let's talk about the intensity and the forecast of the system and good news is the shelf life on this is not going to last very long it's going to be running into upwards of 60 to 70 knots of vertical wind shear here in the next 24 to 48 hours as it drifts off towards the north indicated on this wind shear chart and also if we look at the model consensus all of them continue to develop this but then drop it off here in about 24 hours as it hits that vertical wind shear basically dying out here in the South China Sea before the remnants kind of shoot off here towards the northeast and it's going to bring some rain out actually by the latter part of this week upwards of Kyushu, Shikoku, and parts of Honshu could see some heavy rain showers actually on Thursday and entering into Friday. But for the time being this is the forecasted track here as it does move out of the Gulf of Tonkin is expected to move over parts of Hanain here before drifting off here towards the northeast eventually. I do think it's going to take a little bit of a northerly track actually JMA if we look at their map if you look out here towards the left part of the screen here you do see it's heading off here towards the northwest at about 10 knots according to JMA. They're not warning on the system, but they do have it listed out here as this tropical depression, about 1,004 HPA heading out through the Gulf of Tonkin. And another reason I do think this is going to take a little northerly track than what's being showed on the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's warning is because of this high pressure out here towards the east that we've been talking about drifting out of China. I do think it's going to buffet the western portions of that as it runs out here towards Hong Kong and eventually skirts off the southeastern coast before heading off to Japan. We're only talking about a difference in a matter of a couple hundred nautical miles and with the weakness of this system and all it really means is more rain showers in a specific area but good news it is moving away from the devastated areas out here in Cambodia and Thailand you still could see some of those convective bandings coming into the uh, center of the system across the Indochina region
as shown here on this IR enhanced right in here you do see that banding down there towards the south over parts of Cambodia where you can see those heavy rain showers but the center of circulation is going to drift away from the Indochina region instead of heading west towards this devastated area so that is the one good note on this system but that is all for right now everybody thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com if you have any questions comments or suggestions as usual please post them in the comment box below and always stay safe out there everybody have a great day